Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather here in the Arklatex for the next week and a half. And you can see kind of a mixture of sunshine and clouds across the Arklatex on this uh, Tuesday afternoon. More clouds over the northern sections of the area where temperatures at mid-afternoon in the upper 80s. More sun further to the south. You can see the mostly sunny sky in Cachetta. Temperatures there a bit warmer and as we go through the next couple of days we'll be watching a disturbance you can see this disturbance producing some widespread showers and thunderstorms to the northwest of the Arklatex this is going to be moving towards the east and will bring a chance for some uh, thunder to especially the northwestern sections of the Arklatex potentially for the next couple of days. Here's a look at Robin's story on a future cast. And you can see tonight, uh, again, the thunderstorms that are ongoing now could begin to move into the northwestern edge of the area very late tonight. That activity will weaken as it moves towards the east and southeast, and most of the rain likely will be confined to the northern sections of the Arklatex here uh, during the next 24 hours. Really nothing too much further to the south and east Texas and northwest Louisiana. And as we go through tomorrow night, another cluster of showers and thunderstorms could enter the northern sections of the area. It, too, will weaken before it makes it too far to the south. And then Thursday, we'll see kind of a mixture of sunshine and clouds. Future cast shows another chance for some rain over the northern part of the area very late in the day. Other models keeping us pretty much dry for Thursday, as we'll probably have to wait until Thursday night and Friday. And you can see that uh, perhaps next round of rain, which could impact the Arklatex during that time frame. Severe weather possible, but unlikely. You can see a, mo a marginal level one risk, according to the Storm Prediction Center. And a quick look at potential uh, thunderstorm wind gusts here with Futurecast. Anywhere you see yellow on this map, that's at least 30 miles per hour. We could have a few gusts of 30 to 40 miles per hour, mainly over the northern sections of the area where most of the rain is expected to occur. Here's a look at rainfall potential from now through Thursday evening, and you can see Futurecast very optimistic, showing widespread one to two inch totals over southwest Arkansas and the northwestern corner of the area. Notice East Texas, Northwest Louisiana, pretty much dry as uh, most of the rain will stay across the northern half of the region. Now looking at longer range, we will see this disturbance push on through. Again, another shot for some rain will be possible here as we look ahead to Friday. And then as we move into the weekend, a, a cold front will make its way into the area. Models a little bit slower now, so it looks like Sunday, Sunday night, Monday, and especially Sunday night, Monday is when the rainfall chances from this system will be highest. We'll see that system push on through, and then we should dry out and heat up again with upper level high pressure uh, building back into the nation's midsection as we progress our way through next week. As far as rainfall potential here during the next 10 days, this is a look at the blend of the longer range models, and you can see the heaviest totals uh, anywhere from uh, two to three inches possible during this time frame over the northern sections of the Arklatex. Models still pessimistic for East Texas and Northwest Louisiana as amounts will be at a half an inch or less at most locations. So your forecast looks like this for tonight. Uh, we will see a partly cloudy sky across the area. Again, some thunder will be possible later on tonight over the north and western sections of the area as we'll see lows mainly in the mid to upper 60, 69 tonight in Shreveport, 67 degrees in Texarkana. Tomorrow, expect a partly cloudy sky. Again, more rain possible across the north and northwest half of the area, as we'll see highs there in the mid to upper 80s, where it stays drier. Highs tomorrow should return to the low to middle 90s. Your 10-day forecast shows a chance for some rain. Once again, Friday, Saturday, for the most part, dry. And then we'll see a more widespread rainfall chances as we look ahead to late Sunday, Sunday night, and Monday, followed by another period of above normal temperatures as we go through the rest of next week. So again, looks like several chances of rain on the way here over the course of the next four or five days with the rainfall chances highest late this weekend and Monday.